Well, I think this is a very difficult question because I think that every pianist, every musician in general, has different interests and it changes and some things, you know, you have to always try to develop as a musician. You cannot play only one kind of music and so it can also change very much in your life. For example, at a certain point you can be very interested in some certain composers or style of music. And, but if you play only that, I think you, it's, it's, it's not necessarily something which is, you know, you have to grow as a musician. So I think that's very important. So that's what I'm trying to do. The first movement is inspired by the tragic, you know, situation, things that happened with, with Schumann and which were absolutely something very dramatic in, in Brahms's life because he was so very close to the Schumanns, to Schumann, Robert Schumann and to Clara Schumann, of course, as we know. And this, this became, because of this, something which uh, I think I think really inspired the, the character of, you know, the, the character and the way that he expressed himself musically in this, in this first movement. And I think it's, it's a very strange concerto in a way because he, it's like a symphony with piano obligé. And uh, it's, it's very, very uh, dramatic writing in terms of character, in terms of orchestration, in terms of many, many things. And <clears throat> the piano writing is, of course, very, uh, also in that sense, very dramatic and uh, very romantic, so to speak, inspiration. And it's a very young piece. And I, uh, I think that he really explored new possibilities um, <clears throat> in this piece. And so therefore, uh, it's, th this is basically what what for me is, 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 is the inspiration for, you know, and the meaning, so to speak, if we are trying to understand a little bit what the music is about, this is the, I think, the inspiration and the character and, and sort of when one is trying to define what this kind of, what he, the way he did things in, in this concerto, it was, it was that way. And the second movement is also part of this, I mean, kind of like a, something which is which is like either a contrast or in relation to this first movement it's it's a kind of religious uh, quote unquote uh, or philosophical consolation something you know he wrote in the score <coughs> benedictus and there is also a very kind of you know after all of this tragedy he's trying to find something some kind of consolation and uh, there is also a very, uh, very human, so to speak, humanistic, maybe, element also in it, I think, you know, in the dialogue uh, in the middle of the movement between uh, uh, clarinet and piano and these kind of things, and which are also, um, this is all a, an expression of perhaps the things that were going on in his life at the time. I mean, musical ideas and, of course, the emotional climate is somewhat in this direction. And the third movement is a very Hungarian character, and like many works that he wrote. And... Uh, uh, yes, it's, it's, it's kind of like a more not to say optimistic, that would be a little bit simple to say it like that, but a kind of reaction, perhaps after these first two movements, something which is going back towards something, you know, some kind of life and, you know, perhaps uh, something in, in this direction, which is, which is different from what, what was in the first two movements. So I think it's a very interesting piece in that, you know, he, the construction of the whole work was, is, is very, very interesting. 
So uh, it's a very uh, it's a very interesting work in in that respect, and of course because it's 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 quite different from other concertos, and uh, I think he was very original in what he wrote. And uh, the first movement I think was he wrote the first version I think for four hands or two pianos. I'm not sure. It was it's, I think it was four hands, and he worked on this uh, this movement a lot, and and finally it became this. You know he he finally achieved this form with the orchestra and with the piano, which is truly something very original. I mean, the whole concerto is, and uh, yeah, it's very special music, very special concerto, and very, very beautiful concerto. Well, I think that uh, it's very hard to define, you know, I mean, to e explain, of course, I mean, great art. It's very complicated to talk about, especially in music, these things. Uh, what, there are people who, who, who debate about this and who say, um, you know, what was he more of? Was he a French composer or Polish composer? It's you know for me it's uh, he he was absolutely had something. First of all, he had you know he definitely had something for me incredibly you know all of the folk melodies and the atmosphere and the colors and the emotions and the you know which is which is deeply connected to Polish. That's for me, you know, and I think that. Yeah, yeah, of course he had something, he, he, was, he was part of this incredible society, artistic society in, in Paris uh, with, with so many other incredible artists and he uh, revolutionized so many things in the way he wrote and his, his you know, so he was of course uh, such a refined person and he he was so you know on everything on such a high level artistically and also you know everything in in the way he you know was, was something which was of course he was he was aware of what was going on in france and he was also you know french culture and french society you know i mean of course, he was an artist and he was aware of what was going on and he was inspired and I think it's a mix of both things, but you know, I think he is definitely, I mean for me, is something so incredibly, you know, connected to, you know, I think so. That, but that's my opinion, maybe somebody else will think something different. He was of course such an you know when you talk about these people it's 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 fascinating because there's so much we can discuss and learn about them all the time <clears throat> so uh you know at the same time his musical what was the music that he loved you know it was bach it was mozart it was scarlatti it was bellini bel canto he you know things like this and other things too but and he so this is all very international and it's, he had just an incredible, you know, what he did, it was, was so, so amazing, you know, and it's something quite, quite unique. I think it's, uh, you know, everything that he revolutionized in piano writing and in expressing musical ideas, this is really, you know, and uh, yeah, so it's, it's, fascinating and one can only you know read about it and think about it and try to understand and uh, yes it's every artist has many different things in their personality and of course you know he was of course connected to France very deeply of course it's it's absolutely but uh, uh, you know I think that his uh, his art, like all great art, is something which goes beyond, you know, one country. It resonates to, to humanity, you know, and through time, and brings so many things, inspiration to so many other composers. 
and uh, it would have been really interesting also to hear Chopin as a player. This would have been really, but we don't unfortunately, of course, have anything. It was too early, but uh, <coughs> yes, but Polish for me. <laughs>